Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group. And what I want to do today is compare a couple of Hyundai third row SUVs. So on the one side, I have the 24 Palisade and on the other side, I have the all new 24 Hyundai Santa Fe. So we'll look at the interiors, the exteriors, and then see which one might just be perfect for you. Let's begin by looking at the 24 Palisade. Now, the one I have here today is the SEL trim, which the H-Track is going to come on this one, which is going to be the all-wheel drive. Now, front-wheel drive would be standard, but with the all-wheel drive, you're going to have a 3.8 liter with the 8-speed automatic transmission, which is going to be standard across the Palisade. Now, with the H-Track, that's going to get you about 24 mpg on the highway, so the front-wheel drive will get a little bit better fuel economy, but most of the time, this will be in front-wheel drive to help you get the best mileage, and then when you need it, the all-wheel drive system kicks in and can help you out in a pinch. Now up front on the Palisade you do have the LED daytime running lights which look really cool on this car as well as the LED headlights and then out back you're going to have the LED tail lights. So this one is going to have the silver roof rails that run up above so you can run the crossbars up there, you can put a mountain bike up there, maybe the roof box if you're going to the cabin for the weekend. There's a lot of usability and you do notice the Palisade is a little bit larger than the Santa Fe. So this in the lineup is still going to be Hyundai's largest SUV, but now the Santa Fe for 24 is going to come standard with that third row. So you do notice the immediate size more on the interior volume with the Palisade. So in the back, there's a little storage cubby behind the third row, but when you have that third row folded up, you do notice between this and the Santa Fe that you do get a little bit more room. Now from there, you can fold the third row down and there's actually a power folding second row on the SEL. So you can click a little button and that's gonna kick the seats down, which makes it very convenient. This one we have here has the bucket seats, but before we look too much on the interior, let's hop over to the Santa Fe. We'll check out that exterior. Now this is the 24 Santa Fe. So this is a full refresh for the 24 model year and it's gonna be completely different from head to tail. Now you will notice as far as the design language goes, there's a lot of the letter H designed into the vehicle. Whether it's the headlights, some of the stuff inside, out back, it's something Hyundai's done on purpose and it's a really cool kind of design technique that they've used in creating the new Santa Fe. Now this is going to be powered by a 2.5 turbocharged engine. That's going to be good for 28 miles per gallon on the highway and this has the all-wheel drive as well. So you are going to get a little bit better mileage out of this with the redesign when compared to the Palisade. And the design language will probably be what Hyundai's leaning more towards going into the future. The LED headlights and daytime running lights look really cool on this vehicle and I think they did a great job with the overall redesign. Now this trim level is actually the SE. So this is the base model when looking at the Santa Fe. So the SE and the SEL are going to be more of our popular trim levels, so we wanted to kind of break down the differences, but a lot of the equipment that's found in the SEL Palisade will be found in the SEL Santa Fe, so I just wanted to show you a few differences. Now this particular one does keep the power liftgate, even though it's just the base trim level, and on the key fob you're also going to have the remote start, which is going to come standard with the SE. In the back, you do notice, like I said, with the third row up, there's a little bit less room back there, and the third row will be a little bit smaller when compared to the Palisade. So let's hop over to the Palisade and we'll check out the interior. All right, so in the Palisade SEL, like I said, the dark blue, actually that moonlight cloud exterior is gonna be paired with the darker or the black seats in here, and it does look really nice. Now, this Palisade is gonna give you a ton of equipment for kind of being more of the base level trim. Now, I've already got my phone plugged in here, so I've got Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. There's also wireless charging and USB plugs found in this little cubby down here. So you open it up, you've got your cup holders, and like I said, the charging down there, which makes it very convenient. Now, on that infotainment screen here, I've got my messaging, I've got Spotify, Google Maps, and this one, if I click the map button here, you're going to have built-in navigation on this Palisade. Now, the infotainment screen here is very easy to use, and if you're not using the CarPlay, you can actually use the voice controls on the steering wheel. You can click that, ask it what the weather might be tomorrow. There's a whole bunch of really cool stuff you can do with that to keep your focus on the road ahead. Now, this is going to have a full digital display here for your gauge cluster, so that's going to show you some of your safety information, some of your trip computer stuff, and then just the rest of your standard information in there. Now the steering wheel is really nice. It's got paddle shifters behind here. And then, like I said, you've got your voice control and radio stuff on the one side. Then on the other side, you're going to control your adaptive cruise control. So you set the car length distance ahead of you. It's going to keep that. This is going to have blind spot monitoring. It's also got a lane departure warning system. There's a ton of safety built into these Hyundais that come standard. So you know that if you and your family are in the vehicle, you're going to be very safe. So now speaking of family, what about that second and third row? Like I said, this one has the captain's chairs behind. So in the back, you have a little 12 volt plug and then there's actually USB plugs just behind my shoulder here. So your rear passengers can keep their devices charged up. Now that third row to access that, there's actually two different ways. There's a button above your shoulder or a button lower down. So the little kids can even push that, slide the seat forward and hop into the back. 
It does make it very convenient that the seats do kind of hinge and slide forward, so you don't have to remove a child seat back there, which makes it very nice as well. Now, like I said, this third row is a little bit larger and will provide a little bit more space when we're comparing it with the new Santa Fe. It's just a little bit larger vehicle, a little bit more room overall, and there's a little bit more storage space. So you've got your armrest here, and then underneath, since this is a drive-by wire system that's actually just buttons to select reverse and drive, it frees up a huge storage cubby underneath so you can keep all your stuff hidden away down there. Now, a few other things in here that's pretty cool. There's a little camera button. So when I click that, it actually pulls up the backup camera and you can either look straight down or behind you. So if you're trying to see before you back out of your spot, that's a really nice feature there. And there's just a few other drive modes you can select here between like smart, sport, comfort modes. That's gonna help you either get great fuel economy or help you be a little bit sportier. Now, these seats are actually really comfortable. So there's kind of a gray piping that runs through. And then for the driver and the front passenger, these are going to be heated for those Minnesota winters, which is really nice. So overall, it feels very spacious in here. You've got your dual climate control. There's a lot of comfort in the SEL. And like I said, most of the equipment found in this SEL can also be found in the SEL when we're looking at the Santa Fe. But like I said, that's the SE trim. So let's hop over there and we'll check that one out. All right, so in the 24 Santa Fe, you notice a difference right away with the infotainment screen, the layout over here. It's pretty cool. It feels a little bit more futuristic in this one compared to the Palisade, but it's just pretty much all the same stuff. Now, this one has the 12.3 inch display. So again, I've got Apple CarPlay in this one. This one, it's wireless. So it's very simple. It's a very responsive screen. Again, my messaging, my Spotify, all that stuff is going to be in there. And Hyundai gave you a very convenient little place to put your phone. And as you work your way up through the trim levels, this can be wireless charging on both sides. So a little bit different layout here is the other one had the drive-by wire down here. This one has it up on the steering column. So you click the little lever down for reverse, up for drive, and then you just click it again for park. So that does again free up a lot of space underneath down here. So if you're putting a purse or want to keep anything stored out of the way, that is very convenient. Now, one thing that's cool with our armrest here, obviously it opens up like a standard one, but the other thing it does is it opens up from the back part. So if you got the kiddos in the back and they need something out of the armrest, you're not even taking your hands off the wheel. They can open it up, grab what they need, which is a good safety feature and something very convenient for everyone in the car. Now our digital display is gonna have pretty much the same information in here, whether that's your adaptive cruise control or just some of your trip computer stuff, just a little bit different of a screen layout and the steering wheel is gonna be totally different. So again, voice control, you can use Siri with the Apple CarPlay. Then we're gonna have our paddle shifters behind the wheel here and some of our safety features on the other side. Now, push button start is gonna be found in all of the Santa Fe models. And like I said, on our key fob, you are gonna have a remote start on there as well as keyless access from the outside of the vehicle to hop in. So this one is gonna have the same little button for the parking camera, but what's cool on this one is you can actually do the full 12.3 inch display, or again, you can just kind of look straight down out of the back. So that's a very nice safety feature there. And your selectable drive modes, sport, my drive, snow, and then just normal. So in the back seat for the second row, this one also has those USB-C chargers in the front seats for the rear passengers. And if you work your way up through the trim level, both the Palisade and the Santa Fe can actually get third row USB-C charging, which is pretty cool. But like I said, this one has the bench seat compared to the captain's chairs that we had in the Palisade. So this one can seat seven people, or you can get the captain's chairs to do six person seating. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for, which trim level, that would lay out the vehicle differently. So one thing that's kind of cool in some of the Santa Fe's, if you click this little button up here, you've got a little storage cubby and that's actually a UVC, which can help sterilize maybe your phone or your keys or anything you put in there. So it's just kind of a shallow little cubby, but a pretty cool feature on the Santa Fe. So again, we notice some of that H pattern design here on the air conditioning vents. There's a lot of cool styling in here. And I think as you work your way up through the trim level, you're just adding more equipment like ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, all that good stuff. Even the big sunroof can get optioned into these. So as for the base trim level, there's a lot of good equipment in here. And if you're looking for a car for just getting to A to B, this can absolutely get it done. It's gonna get great fuel economy and as well have the all wheel drive. Now, comparing the two together, the new Santa Fe obviously gets the standard third row, where the Palisade will also have the standard third row. There's a lot of similar equipment between the two. It kind of depends on your budget or what you're looking for. The Palisade will be a little bit more money when comparing it with the Santa Fe. The size is a little bit larger. I found the Santa Fe to be a little bit easier to park just because it is a little bit smaller. So overall, there's a ton of great equipment in both vehicles. So I think you gotta get out, take each one for a spin and see what you think. 
So that was just a brief look at the 24 Palisade in Santa Fe. Now, if you have any other questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by either one of our Hyundai locations. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.